Today, we see if Kratos is the world's best dad, or did the boy get under our skin? Let's find out if anyone played God of War. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am BD, and this is Did Anyone Play? A series where we investigate, analyze, and determine the truth about how much gamers have actually played a game like God of War. How do we do this? We use trophy and achievement milestones within games, and then compare those results to an ever-growing database to evaluate and rank games compared to the rest of the industry. Using objective data and statistical comparisons, we can draw conclusions. We aren't reviewing the game in a traditional sense. Our goal is to provide analysis that can be better used to understand player preference, while ignoring game sales and hype to ensure we see reality as it truly is. Please drop a like or a sub to the channel if you want more of these types of videos. We're just starting out, so anything you can do is very much appreciated. And a quick spoiler warning, as we may be talking about some elements of late game progression. So let's find out if anyone actually played God of War on PlayStation and Steam. Remember that all percentages we'll be talking about here come from the total number of players that have actually launched and or played the game, not bought the game, so these results are a full reflection on how gamers played God of War. The first milestone that players will likely reach is called The Journey Begins. This milestone is achieved once a player completes the initial story introduction and ultimately defeats the stranger who arrives at the house. So how many players made it to this very early milestone of God of War? On Steam, 87.6% of players got to this first milestone, and for PlayStation, it was 85.9%. So let's pause here to evaluate. God of War is off to a great start. Both platforms are well above the industry average. Here's a quick look in graph form, and I put the database average up there. You can see that Steam is leading slightly, but both platforms are doing really well. It's a great start for God of War. So what is God of War? Well, it's one of the best-known video game franchises of all time. God of War is an action-adventure game that is a continuation of the original God of War series, but is now set in the world of Norse mythology instead of Greek. The story follows Kratos, who now has a son, as both are dealing with the loss of their wife and mother. It was developed by Santa Monica Studios and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. God of War was released on PlayStation in April of 2018 and Steam in January of 2022. The second milestone all players would likely reach is called a new friend. This is awarded after a player meets a witch who helps them after they help her heal a rare breed of boar. So for Steam, 76.3% of players achieved this, and on PlayStation, 73.2% of players made it here. This continues to show the strength of God of War in the early game as both platforms have retained around three-fourths of their gamers who started, and Milestone 2 results continue to be comfortably above the industry average. It's always good to understand the competition a game was up against when it launched. What was happening around April 20th of 2018 in the gaming world? Well, titles like Conan Exiles, Extinction, and The Swords of Ditto came out around this time on the platforms. Looking at Google Trends here, we can see that God of War and Blue was dominating at the time of release. So hype was huge for God of War, and I think we can say competition was weak by this measure. We like to pick a mid-game milestone for our third marker. For God of War, we chose Hello, Old Friend. This is awarded after the player makes it to a pivotal moment in the story where Kratos must return home, dig up his past, and wield the Blades of Chaos once more to save his son. It's a highly charged moment in the game and one of the highlights of the story. How many players are left at this point in the game? For Steam, it is 53.4%, and on PlayStation we have 52.2%. Deep into the story and gameplay of God of War, over 50% of gamers are still engaged in playing. God of War continues to impress with player retention, and not only that, but both platforms are nearly on top of each other in terms of percentage. How did God of War do with critics? Well, Metacritic for PlayStation has it at a 94 out of 100. Steam has reviews showing overwhelmingly positive recent and all time with over 90,000 reviews. These are extraordinary reviews and critics everywhere were praising this game. The reception was highly positive for the game overall. Our most important milestone is our fourth one. This is for completing the main objective and what we will ultimately base our final ranking on. It definitely shows how many players finished the game and truly played God of War. This milestone is called Last Wish and is awarded for completing the ultimate goal of their journey which is spreading phase ashes at the highest point in all the realms. Where does God of War end up on the different platforms? On PlayStation, 46.6% of players completed the game. And for Steam, it was 46.4% that finished this milestone. Let's pause here since we've reached the end of the game. We want to check the percentage of players that quit each platform after making it through the first milestone but failing to reach game completion. Here our platforms are doing much better than the average. 
PlayStation leads by the slimmest of margins. What this really shows is how strong God of War is performing against the industry average and how well the player retention actually is. This is the kind of performance you want to see from a Game of the Year AAA release. Finally, to get a feel for how the completion has treated this game, the rare milestone 5 chosen for God of War is called Father and Son. This milestone can be achieved if the player earns every milestone within the game. For PlayStation, we see that 4.6% of players reached this milestone, and for Steam, 5.4% of players did it. Now let's see the full picture. Here are the raw milestones for our platforms for God of War, and we also have added the database averages for each milestone in gray for comparison purposes. Let's get into it. For God of War, it is impossible not to see how strong this game performed. At every point in the game, the player retention is well above the industry average. In fact, while we see player loss over the first three milestones, once players hit milestone three, there was very little loss from that all the way to the end of the game in milestone four. It's a testament to how good God of War was with story and gameplay to keep gamers engaged so completely throughout. We are nearly at a 50% retention rate of gamers for God of War, which is excellent. Not only that, but take note of how close the results are from PlayStation to Steam throughout the game. But remember, these releases are nearly four years apart. So this is our final tally for our milestones, but now let's see how the game stacks up against all other games in our database and find out if anyone truly played God of War. We use Milestone 4 as our ultimate ranking target. Here are the results for each platform for Milestone 4 once again. It's time to reveal the final rank God of War has in our database. Here we go. PlayStation is a 9 out of 10, and Steam is also a 9 out of 10. Almost everyone played God of War on both PlayStation and Steam. You can't really say much more than that, as it's an impressive result and very well earned. Player retention is exceptional, and it shows with these final rankings, showing that God of War is one of the best. So those are the scores, but let's see if we can tease out some other observations by looking at the results in different ways. It's time for the deep dive. Let's start with progressive player loss. Each milestone shows how many total players have stopped playing the game at that particular point. Here we can see the initial strong retention results from Milestone 1 and Milestone 2. There is a larger jump in loss at Milestone 3, but then nearly no loss at Milestone 4. Steam was strong throughout the milestones, but PlayStation edged it out at Milestone 4 before giving back the lead to Steam for Milestone 5. Moving on, we can look at Milestone Player Retention. This calculation only takes into account the player population loss as a percentage compared to the previous milestone. This again shows the low amount of player loss across the milestones, with only Milestone 3 showing up a little bit more. How about Completionists? How did the rarest milestones shake out on the different platforms? Here we see Steam take 54% of the results with PlayStation at 46. These are pretty balanced results and both platforms supported fully completing everything in the game. Finally, we check on early versus late game retention. When you read a chart like this, the best performers are further away from the center of the circle. Early game Steam is outperforming PlayStation by a slim margin. For the end game, we actually see that PlayStation outshines Steam just slightly. And finally for completionists, we see Steam edge out PlayStation once again. Let's take one final look at all the platforms and their Milestone 4 results, but this time we show the full percent rank within our database. This is to give you a detailed view of how the rankings played out. Use this data as you will. Let's wrap this up. So what are our major takeaways from all the data? God of War results were exceptional. With a ranking of 9 on both PlayStation and Steam, it is clear that nearly everyone played God of War. What more could you want? And looking at the data, it was also crystal clear that there were no quit moments. Gamers kept at it. The gameplay and story kept nearly everyone engaged and enjoying themselves. Just under 50% of players finished God of War, and that is huge for player retention. The fact that there are a lot of AAA games we look at that don't come close to this kind of result tells you a lot about how special God of War really is. This is how a Game of the Year winner should be and how gamers should be experiencing it. God of War truly earns that title based on the results we see here. And another amazing result was how PlayStation and Steam players progressed through God of War in almost identical ways. God of War was released nearly four years apart on the platforms, but waiting that long for a Steam release did nothing to dampen how gamers reacted, enjoyed, and consumed the game compared to their PlayStation brothers and sisters. I can't say enough about the results for God of War. For me, it was one of the best stories in a game I've ever played through. Critics loved it, players embraced the new look Kratos had, the new over-the-shoulder third-person gameplay, and the deeply moving story. Santa Monica took a huge risk in reimagining what a modern God of War game could be and did the impossible. They improved a beloved franchise in every way and in surprising ways. They were rewarded by gamers truly playing and experiencing all their game had to offer all their hard work fully realized and embraced by the gamers who played it. 
And that's really all anyone can hope for when they make a game, no matter how large or small. Hopefully, these results can help improve the games industry, and developers can look at the success of a game like God of War had with their audience and enhance future projects to be even better. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do all the YouTube support stuff. I'd love to read any comments you have down below. What conclusions do you all take from this data? And of course, feel free to suggest the next game we should look at to determine if anyone played it. Until then, take care of yourself and each other.